Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Shoop Show. My name is Sarah, and last week I went over the first 10 weeks of the Inktober year-long weekly challenge, and this week I'll be going through another 10 weeks of those prompts. Once again, these don't necessarily reflect my best art skills because I'm still trying to catch up and therefore I've been drawing a little bit faster. And once again, we're doing another reference from the video game Fallout. Just a reminder that Fallout takes place in a post-nuclear war America, so in Fallout 3, Tenpenny Tower is just a very tall, grand tower that just looks really cool when everything around it is dead and empty. There's nothing super special about this place, I just like the way the building looks. It's inhabited by a bunch of elitists, and they're kind of racist, so... You know whenever you drive on the road right after it rains, and if your tires go through a puddle, it splashes up a bunch of water on the side of your car? My boyfriend likes to imagine that there are these little elephants hiding in these puddles, that shoot the water up onto your car windows. And I thought that was very wholesome, and so I drew that. For week 13, we have Joy, and naturally the first thing I thought of was my puppy Luca, because she is my best friend, and just her mere existence sparks joy within me. She has a lot of interesting markings on her face, and I wasn't able to capture those in this simplistic art style, so she kind of looks like a German Shepherd in this drawing, but she's actually a Norwegian elk hound mutt. For week 14, we have Green, so I drew a Green Bean crime scene. So clearly VCIS is investigating this crime. And then you can see the two green beans cut in half by the green bean guillotine. I just like making things rhyme. I drew another location from the video game Fallout, and it is called Red Rock Canyon, which I believe is a real place in Nevada. And in the post-apocalyptic world, according to Fallout, it is now home to a group called the Great Khans, and they're essentially these cool kind of drug dealers. And kids, uh, drug dealing is bad don't do it, unless it takes place in a colorful canyon in the post-nuclear war ruins of your home country. Then maybe you get a pass. Week 16 is blue, so I drew one of my favorite drag queens, Trinity the Tuck Taylor. Week 17 is yellow. This is weirdly specific, but if you've ever watched Monsters, Inc., and there's the Yeti that uh, Mike and Solly run into, and he tries to offer them yellow snow cones. So I like to imagine that he's been able to start his own little business where you can buy all sorts of frozen treats, and he has the Yeti Lemon Snow Cone Special. So I basically tried to draw something that was vaguely reminiscent of, like, those little retro cafe diner posters. I don't know, I thought it turned out kind of cute. Alright, week 18 was train, and I basically just drew a train crossing a large bridge. It was a lot cooler in my head. So praying mantises are, like, my all-time favorite insect. I think they're amazing. and. Oftentimes, the females will bite the head off of the male after they have finished mating. And I thought, what a great idea for one of those old-fashioned looking propaganda posters of a female praying mantis biting off the male praying mantis's head, saying, dismantle the patriarchy. So we had a dog that died when I was still a baby, so I never really got to know her, but her name was Asta, and she was a German Shepherd, but I was told that she loved bubbles. They had to spell the word bubbles because she loved them that much and she knew the word. So I thought it would be cute to draw her in a vaguely Disney style and just draw her with some bubbles and make her happy. All right, thanks to everybody who decided to stick around until the end. I appreciate you. Once again, if this video filled you with not terrible feelings, you can like the video or subscribe, or you can follow my Instagram account.